Duplicating fills and strokes and applying effects selectively to one of the fills and or one of the strokes does have some very practical applications. But how do you use these in a repeatable way? Well, I'm going to draw a polygon now. I'm going to use the up and down arrows and just make a simple triangle. I'm going to hold shift and make sure that it's left just like a regular flat triangle. I'm going to make it blue. I'm going to apply an effect. It's going to be pucker and bloat. I'm going to preview that and I'm going to push bloat quite a long way up. Now for the stroke, I'm going to make sure that it's got a gradient and I'm going to make sure that the gradient goes along the path like that. I'm now going to duplicate this stroke. Now I can just add a new one, but I can also drag to new to start from the existing stroke as a uh, as a starting point. You'll see I've now got two copies of the same thing. I'm simply going to change the pucker and bloat on one from bloat all the way back to pucker. And so now I've got pretty much a cute little uh, tangled bow, if you like. And this was just from a triangle. Wonder what this would look like if I applied it to another shape. And of course, I don't need to wonder. This is what graphic styles are all about. If I choose graphic styles, make a new graphic style, it takes my current shape and all the things which I've done to it using the appearance panel and saves it as a graphic style. So if I come back and I decide to make a rectangle, I can apply the graphic style in one click and it gives me a whole new shape. Let's go with this one. Crazy. Lots of fun. Graphic styles are a very useful way to keep track of things that you've done with the appearance panel and reuse them intelligently. You can also drag styles onto shapes. Uh, not that you have to, I've just undone that. But it's very, very handy to know about. And if you're a little bit lacking on inspiration about what you can do with the appearance panel, go to graphic styles, graphic style libraries, and look at one of these exciting options. While some graphic styles use additional lines and strokes, most focus on effects found in the effects menu, including, for example, the scribble effects. Nice wide selection of things you could do. I might keep that shape selected and see what it looks like with the red scribble or this green one or this one. They get added to my graphic styles library, uh, panel rather, over here, and I can go back to anything else that I've done just by clicking on it. When I'm done, I just close that one down.